What's that over there? Ooh, it looks like a picnic. I love picnics. You know, my mother used to take me on picnics. I think I'd better get over there before the other ants in the neighborhood get the idea and take all the goodies. <laughs> hey, now, that's good food. They don't fool around when they go on a picnic. These are good people. Hey, Ed. Ah, uh, what's the matter? You lost, pal? I want to talk to you for a minute. As a matter of fact, I want to talk to you about your future. You know, you're talking to the wrong guy. I'm semi-retired. <laughs> you know, it takes 200,000 ants just to make a decent sandwich, and I'm having trouble with just one, and the day's half over. Hey, you know, speaking of the day half over, I got to get this pie back to my little pad before it spoils. Okay, you asked for it. You try to talk nice to a guy, and he turns his back on you. So here goes. Coconut cream pie. You know how I know it's coconut? Because it's got a coconut in it, and it hurts. All right, Ant, you better say uncle. You kind of overshot the landing strip there, buddy. Okay, Ant, yeah. I'm going to huff and puff and revise and inhale you out of house and home. Oh, man, there goes my hepa white furniture and my pretty little Persian rug and all my Tabasco sauce. With all the ants in the world, I gotta pick a kook. It's just work, work, work all the time. I mean, it just ain't easy lugging a picnic home. I sure wish they'd deliver. <laughs> this time, instead of going to him, I'll force him to come to me. Or vice versa. Whichever works best, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a sight you won't see often. A grown aardvark making an anthill out of himself. I tell you, it's a good thing us puny ants are strong, cause otherwise, we just have to eat little things. Work, work, work. Sometimes I think a picnic is more trouble than it's worth. You ever have the mumps? Well, I got the kind with seeds in it. And it's rough on the sinuses, believe me. You gotta take it easy with bananas, cause one little bump and boy, you, you got yourself a bruised banana. It's no use, Ant. You won't give me the slip. How do you like that? He gave me the slip. And I just told him not to. Today we storm Hill 90. Well, if he's gonna come in, I'm gonna get out. There ain't room in this Ant Hill for both of us. Even in the dark, I can find my way around these tunnels. What's this? I'll light a match and have a look. Look, how'd I know he'd have central heating? Hey, Ant, just to notify you, the odd box strikes again, even again, and again if necessary. No wonder he gets around so fast. He's got his own subway. Let's have a little light. On second thought, I like the dog better. I know what I'll do. I'll smoke him out. It's the cheapest cigar I could find. What's the matter, pal? Didn't you read the warning on the package? <laughs> hey, can I do something for you, pal? Oh, yeesh. Make a wish for me. Wish I was dead. You know, 
I'm thinking of starting an anti-ant protest movement. It's time somebody put their foot down. Hey there, buddy. Be careful. You know the moral of this story? It's people who live near landmines should tread lightly. And I do mean lightly. Let me introduce myself. I'm an art rock. I eat ants for a living. I'm a functional creation. Check the profile. That's a profile. And the mouth. Ever see a mouth like that? To show you how it works. Just suppose an ant was hiding down behind that hill. Fish, fish. I'm an ant eater, not a fish eater. Boy, I'm telling you, it's just work, 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 all the time. My poor old back is aching something awful, and my feet are killing me. Hey, chicken, if your feet hurt, fly. You got wings, use them. Here, I'll show you. First thing is, you gotta get off the ground. I know it's a hot day, but did you have to take off all your feathers? Now spread your wings, chicken, and prepare to soar into the wild blue yonder. Too bad you didn't have your flaps up. Hey, Dad, this ain't no flyer. It's a fryer. I gotta get it home before I get sunstroke. Oi, what's this? An ant. And of the chicken rustling variety. Very unusual. Just a second, Ant. I want to discuss something that mutually concerns you. Oh, come on, Dad. Give me back my chicken. I ain't got time to chew the fat. You should take time. Relax. Well, maybe that's your way, but I think a little exercise leads to a longer life. So, so long. Okay, if that's the way you want it. You don't think this is agony? I wouldn't suggest you try it. You wouldn't like it. Man, I got food all over the place. Say, I got enough stuff here to open a supermarket. That's the way it is when you're an ant. Just no time for watching TV or going to movies. Maybe I should slow down and take life easier. The old ticker just can't take the strain forever. Ooh, listen to that beat. Maybe it's too late. You know, sometimes you gotta be clever to catch these guys. Now I don't hear a thing. Ooh, my heart stopped. Ooh, I better get a checkup. Hey, who needs a doctor? Man, that's the sort of medicine I need. Lead me to it. Boy, let me tell you, they sure roll out the red carpet for you. Silly old me, I've been losing out on a lot of relaxing living all these years. Oh, I like these dim, dark places. Now, that's class. Hey, now, how about that? They got an elevator in here. Oh, cigarette gal, got some of them big black cigars. Oh, thank you. Oh. Now, how do you like that? Some little wise guy give me an exploding cigar. All right, then. Back in the club. Now, I had enough of that scene. I'm getting back to work. Okay. You don't want in the easy way? You join the hard way. I hope none of the other odd box orders sue. I'll never leave it down. Down. Oh, Dan 
Sandy. Just what I needed. Looks like you missed the boat, old buddy. So how come it works for him? All right, Ann. It's time for evacuation. Pardon me for intruding. Hey, Dad. You realize you're invading the sanctity of my home? I got a warrant. Hey, Ann. What is this place? Nothing but hallway. You think that's something? You ain't seen half of them. You know, it's just like me to pick a day when his water heater exploded. The one sure way to hide an ant is to plug up his ant hill. You're just wasting your time, Daddy O, because I've moved in with my relatives. The jar ants. This anthill is sort of a mm, condominium of sorts. So now you're trying to make anthills out of mountains. You better be careful, Dad. Don't you try to scare me, Ant, because I walk where food, fear the trap. Okay, either you leave now, or I'll be forced to come in and get you. What do you want, Shorty? Mm, nothing. Ah, uh, thank you, Minerva, a lot. That's all right, Charlie. You know, I'm Charlie's aunt. $100 a plate well, would have to be a pretty big end. I take great pride in presenting the guest of honor, one whom we all respect, and a person to whom we all look up to. How do you do? <laughs> How do you like that? I got nothing. Oh, ho! Boy, an anteater can bust up a party faster than a skunk in an air conditioner. Uh, uh, sorry to eat and run, but... Uh... I think I put my little bitty foot in the wrong mouth. I better get a little light on the subject. Oh, there's a sign. I wonder what it says. Oops. Say, this is quite a place. Look at all these funny things. Did you ever have hot points? Well, I got it all over. Aha! Uh -huh. Man, I better run for cover. You're covered. Hey, did you see my aunt? Describe him. He's a little teeny thing, about so high, and he's red. Wait a minute. Yeah, this must be your aunt. Well, let me have it. You got it. You know, it's tea time, and I'm gonna have you with my tea. One lump or two? Better make it two. He likes it sweet. How sweet it is. Oh, 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 oh,
public service announcement. Now, all you little kiddies under 12 years of age better run out and grab a snack until all this violence is over. That's a good idea. I think I'll have a snack, and you're it. Thank you. Sometimes in these situations, it's hard to keep a stiff upper lip. Settle this in a more gentlemanly manner. I mean, flip a coin or something. Okay, we don't have a coin, so we'll flip you. What do you want, heads or tails? Heads. Okay, here goes. <laughs> you take the back door, and I'll take the front. I think I got him. <laughs> Fellas are all tied up. I guess I'll go rustle me up a picnic. Bye now. Don't pull. You're only making it tighter. You don't happen to know the number of a good boy scout. Why? Because they haven't been able to catch an ant for a month. Aha! This time, I can't miss. That does it. If I'm not smart enough to catch an ant, I know something that is. Let's see how it works. Hi there. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> I'm starving, and it's not funny. Now tell me, how do I catch an ant? Oh boy, <laughs> have I got an ant for you. That's good. Where is he? Quick, tell me. Straight ahead, one mile. You, you can't miss it. <laughs> oh boy, I can hardly wait. Looks like I'm gonna have company. Aha! All I gotta do is stick my nose in, keep a little inhale like this, and... 
presto, instant breakfast. Hello, Aunt. Sorry to eat and run, but you know who it is. Hi again. How did it go? Not so hot, huh? On the contrary. I got a hot foot, hot brain, and hot flashes all at once, but no end. Well, let's see now. How about this? Why didn't I think of that? Thanks. And spritz of this, and soup's on. Aha, here he comes. He must be having a bad trip. <laughs> so you see, all you need is some quicksand. <laughs> Good. And the quicker, the better. A little quicksand with a cherry on top and quick as a wink, it's lunchtime. My, my, look at that. I just love cherry. Aha! Food at last. <laughs> I could say something right now, but it would only be sentence. I'm through listening to that electronic nut. This time I'll do it my way. You know, I just got a feeling old Blue is at it again. Uh-huh, just as I thought. To what? Impossible. This I gotta see. Controlled and stamper should do the trick. Wow, we what was that? might say it was a smashing failure. And by the way, as a computer, you stink. Who said I was a computer? I'm an automatic pop-up toaster, and I'll prove it. Anybody got a pound of butter? I'm an anteater, and when I see an ant, 
I give a little inhale, like this. <laughs> Believe me, it's no fun being an anteater. I'd rather be a banker and have a businessman's lunch. Instead, I have to catch things like him. I'm an ant, and he's an anteater. And you know what an old ant does when he sees an anteater? Well, he, he runs for his life, man. <laughs> As I was saying, maybe I should have been a banker. Aha, uh -huh. I got him. First I'll give him a smack, and then I'll have a little snack. <laughs> if I had listened to my mother, I'd have been a radio announcer. <laughs> Somebody spilled some delicious sweet sugar all over the ground. Some lucky ant's gonna have a feast. You know, if I didn't fall for this, it would break old Claude's heart. My, my, now, now look at all this delicious sugar. Uh-oh, there's a big old rock in the way. Lucky for me, an ant can lift a hundred thousand times his own weight. Kinda makes a fella proud. Maybe I should have been a doctor. <laughs> then I could prescribe myself a pill. Now, it looks like I'm gonna need some help with this. Hey, pal, how's about giving me a hand here? I'll do better than that. I'll give you a hand with a big club in it. Aw, oh, thanks, pal. I never could have made it without you. <laughs> now, I just know old Ben's up to something. I better move to Sand Hill so he don't trip over it and hurt himself. to get back to my pad and close the trap door. Never know, it just might rain. <laughs> this ant remover is just a thing. I'll remove him from his house and into a better neighborhood. My stomach! If that ant got half of what I got, he's in big trouble. <laughs> Pow! Aha! Uh -huh. Success at last! <laughs> hey, ant, what do you think of that? I know what I think of that but I shouldn't say it in public. <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm gonna do with this shot put. Well, I'll show you. plan never fails, especially when you're trying to catch an ant that's hooked on sugar. Ah, uh, looks like old Sam's at it again. Well, I might as well play along with him. I got a bite, but I'll let him run a little till he gets tired out, then I'll yank him in. 
<laughs> okay, Ed, this is the end of the line. Well, now that's life, and how sweet it is. <laughs> surely do love to spend my little old vacation at the beach. Yes, sir. This is what I call scenery. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. It's that nasty old anteater. I detect the odor of an ant. And I think he's on my trail. The beach is the last place to find an ant. But my nose is long, and it's never wrong. See what I mean? I'm right. And I'm gone. <laughs> No use hiding in the sand, Ant. These sand hooks of mine will soon uncover you. All right, wise guy, what's a big idea? Would you believe I was looking for an ant? I think you're looking for a punch in the nose. No time to argue. Slow down, Ant. You'll run off all your fat. What's the matter, stupid? Can't you read? No dogs allowed on the beach without a leash. So, who's a dog? You're a dog. Whoever saw a dog with a long nose like this? You're a schnauzer. Off the beach. I wish I was a dog. I'd bite him. These wooden spoons sure make good surfboards. Except a simple apology. Off the beach! Now beat it! Well, if that's the way you want it. Did you ever see such a stupid seagull? I said off the beach! You know, I got half a mind to sue. How do you like that? That was my lawyer. Uh-oh, here he comes again. He just never gives up. Lucky I think of everything. For the last time. Off the beach! No dogs permitted on the beach without a leash. Come along, Fifi, darling. Hmm, without a leash. But with a leash. 
We'll go down to the water and wet our little footsie. All right, you precious little doll baby, come on. <laughs> I'll teach you to attack my poor helpless little feetie girl. Oh, you horrible bitches creature. I love to build sand castles in the sand. It isn't everybody who can build a sand castle and move into it. Come on, Ant, or I'll hoof and I'll puff and I'll kick the heck out of your castle. Time's up. like the only way to see the sea is join the Navy. Hello? Give me the dog catcher. But I'm not a dog. I'm an oddbok. I've always been an oddbok. An oddbok, do you hear? An oddbok! Oh, what a lovely day I had. I think I'll come tomorrow. But I tell you, fellas, it's the truth. I am a dog. I'm a funny looking dog. Listen. Woof, woof. You hear that? I'm one of you. I'm a dog. Hey, Ann, do me a favor. Tell these dogs I'm a dog. Don't let them kid you, fellas. You ought to know a cat when you see one. <laughs> Boy, I'll never ask an ant for a small favor. And here I am marooned on this island with nothing to eat but coconut. Fooey! I wonder what's on that little island out there. I'll take a look. Oh boy, look at that. Delicious ants. Just my dish. Foo at last. It's lucky for me that I've got a built-in snorkel. Oh boy, am I hungry? I can hardly wait. A pheasant on the glass might not be too bad, but a shark on the water? Forget it! Come, boys, come! I'll admit, I'm hungry, but that shark must be starving. There's more than one way to skin a fish. Come on, 
Canada, you sweet, juicy little ant. Down, you footless Hey, feed it. Now, if I can spear that tree, I've got it made. Aha! Right on target. No dumb fish is going to outsmart me. Aha! You missed! You stupid shark! I'm going to get those ants one way or another. I should have thought of this in the first place. I should land right in the middle of their island. The only safe way to get over to that island is to tunnel under the ocean. And then, oh boy, will I have a feast! from here, but with him on my tail, I ought to make it in 15 minutes. Oh, uh, down my tail! Take it in close on this one, Rock isn't easy. To exist, he needs a pound of ants a day. That's a lot of ants. Anybody home? They don't fool me. I know they're down there. I'll give them the vacuum treatment. <laughs> Rocks and pebbles. Here comes that oddbog doing his thing again. Hey, Tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hiya, Amp. Remember, when you had a thorn stuck in your foot and I pulled it out? Yeah, yeah. 
You said any time I need a favor, just ask. So, I'm asking. Okay, chum, what's your trouble? An aardvark. And you know what an aardvark does to us ants. You need protection, right? Right. Sure, kid. Don't worry about no aardvarks. You're an aardvark. Right. You like ants? I like ants. You eat ants? I eat ants. Not anymore, you don't. <coughs> Stay away from them ants. You got that, chum? I got it. I got it. Boy, did I get it. I'm bumping through that hollow limb. Are you all right, Ant? Yeah, I'm all right. Look, buddy, I don't like giving you a bad time, but I owe them ants a favor, see? You're a real pal to us, Ants, Tiger. That's okay, little buddy. Just returning a favor. Okay, Ants, prepare for dinner. Been on the notes. That's very clever. There you are, as good as new. Not a mark on it. Don't tell me. I already know. You owe it to the ants. Yeah. You think this hurts? <clears throat> this is nothing compared to a thorn in your foot. hear you talk. I'm an ant. Positively. Just as I thought. You're no ant. Believe me, pal, I got nothing against you personal. It's just that... Pull it out, will you, buddy? A thorn in the foot. I understand he gives favors. There. Oh, that's much better. So what can I do for you, old buddy? Just one little favor. Yeah? Yeah? Believe me, it's nothing personal. It's just that I owe that aardvark a favor.
I'm an anteater, and I'm so hungry that while I'm talking to you, my stomach's talking to me. Oh, boy, what I wouldn't give for a nice, juicy little ant. Hi, old buddy. Any luck? Yeah, but it's all bad. Well, keep trying, pal. Like what? Oh, ho. what's this? Chocolate covered ants! Ants? Let me see. It's mine. Oh, no, you don't. I found it, so it belongs to me. Now let me have it. I'd be a fool to turn down a request like that. Okay. This is for me. Thanks. You're a real sweetheart. is find something to open this can, and it's lunchtime. Maybe this will do it. What's this? A rubber mallet? It won't hurt to try. I was wrong. It did hurt. Aha! My troubles are over. One, two, and... I'll show that bird brain how to open a can. Well, I'm a son of a gun. Yeah, that ought to do it. So long, stupid! Tired of fooling around. If this doesn't open this can, nothing else will. Aha! Uh -huh. Success at last! Oh, 
cut off or I'll punch you one. Say, are you looking for trouble? Are you all right down there, cousin? <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay, but you'll never know what it's like to be locked up in a can or covered with chocolate. Pest control. You say you're having trouble with ants? We'll get a man there today. What's the address? 402 Bongo Road. Right. Thank you. 402 Bongo Road. 402 Bongo Road. Here I come. Oh boy, ants. You know, most ant eaters have trouble getting enough to eat, but not this kid. I get all the ants I want. Why? Because I got brains. Let's see now. What was that address? 024 Bingo Street. Or was it 204 Bongo Place? Bamboo Drive? Oh, yeah. 402 Bongo Road. <laughs> hmm. A telephone. I got a call to make. Hello, Bongo Pest Control. Cancel that call to 402 Bongo Road. I'll take care of the ads myself. And now for our little nourishment. La dee dee dee. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. La dee doo. La dee doo dee dee. Oh. Hey, Ant. You're looking at an anteater who hasn't eaten an ant for a long time. It's no use, Ant. All I have to do is turn on my built in vacuum and inhale you like this. Oh boy, right now I could use something for a headache. That's one reason why they don't send ants to college. Nobody likes a smart ant. Smart Ant, you aren't the only one who can walk on ceilings. Now, Ant, a demonstration of art park ingenuity. How about this, Ant? You're not playing the game, Ant. Oh, what's that? Sounds like sawing. And sawdust, too. Oh, no. Even an ant wouldn't stoop that low. <laughs> I'll bet you don't have a friend in the world, Ant. You got an enemy, though. Me! Now, when that ant hits this wax floor, he's gonna get nowhere. Okay, smart ant. You need extermination, and I'm the exterminator. You hear me, Ant? I'm the exterminator. <laughs> so 
you think that's funny? All right, you... Safari buses pass here once a month, and this one had to be now. Come out of that rug, Ant, or I'm coming in after you. Okay, Ant, you had your warning. I guess I'll have to give up ants. They're bad for my health. With a mouth as small as mine, the only choice I've got is spaghetti. And I hate spaghetti. Spaghetti. I just love spaghetti. You know that spaghetti ain't bad. It tastes like ants. Come back, I'm losing the flavor. Come back, wait, I can't stand spaghetti, come back. must be 50,000 species of animals. And wouldn't you know, I had the rotten luck to be born an anteater. Oh well, another day, another ant. Aha, an ant hill. I'd better check to see if I'm in good suction this morning. <laughs> so much for the warm up, and now for the snack. Nothing. I guess there's nobody home. Oh, uh -huh. from the looks of those tracks, I'd say my snacks been hijacked. What incredible good luck. A fine specimen of rare Hymatomerus antiphobius. I'm an opterous antiphobius. And all the time I thought I was eating ants. Ah, oh, what fine muscle tone. I must make a complete study of this specimen. Mm. Oh, no, you don't. All right, now, cough with that on. Oh, boy. That was like being in a dark cave during an earthquake. You crazy anteater. You almost ruined my whole experiment. And he almost ruined my whole body. Thank goodness the specimen appears to be unharmed. I'll let the little fellow relax while I prepare the next study. Yeah, I think I'll stretch my legs and look around. By golly, I'm beginning to like this setup. Besides, that scientist makes a pretty good bodyguard for my little rare body. I'm gonna take care of his little rare body personally. Hey, Ant, I'm taking you out to lunch in my stomach. <laughs> I'd like to give up and go home, but my stomach keeps saying, hang in there, kid. I'll leave the specimen alone with his food to find out what his diet consists of. Man, look at all this delicious food. Strawberry jam, honey, and sugar. My favorite dish. 
In a minute, he's going to find out what my favorite dish is. Uh-oh. Guess who's coming to dinner? Now I'll give a little inhale, and it's lunchtime. Uh-huh. I got it. I guess all that food fattened him up a little. Oh, boy. Cookie crumbs. Now I'm going to conduct a scientific experiment of my own. I want to see what it feels like to eat. If this keeps up, I'll have to get a schnoz transplant. I'll put the specimen in here for safekeeping while I review my findings. Wow-wee! A split-level pad with a view. You've heard of singing for your supper? Well, this is what you call sneaking for a snack. Nope, wrong specimen. Just like dining at the ornament. Aha, and under glass. Don't go away. I think my stomach will agree. This is an emergency. Oh, 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 cut it out. Oh, oh. Now beat it. Is there a Boy Scout in the house? I'll keep the ant in one of my regular specimen containers. I'll try a lightning light commando ray. Sorry to eat and run, but you know how it is. Where's my specimen, you crazy anteater? Search me. That's a good idea. This time I can't fail. I'll have lunch by remote control. Uh-oh, it's him again. Maybe I can change his eating habits. If I got to say so myself, this is a honey of an idea. Now that I have finished my experiment, I'll release the specimen. That wasn't so bad. It's good to know that I'm in top physical shape. Oh no, not you again. Don't worry, Ed. You're safe. I've been put on a liquid diet for two weeks. sacred oath each time we meet. If a brother is in trouble, be he big or be he small, a brother of the forest will hearken to his call. A brother of the forest lodge 202. Zimbala, zumbala, rah, 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 meeting adjourned. Gee, that was a swell meeting. Nice to get away from the wife and cubs for a while. Good seeing you, Al. So long, Hyman. Promised the old lady I'd be home early. See you at the next meeting, Charlie. Boy, I sure do love these lodge meetings. Yeah, I like them too. Say, you want to go bowling, little buddy? Nah, not tonight. I'm going to go home and turn in. Well, good night, shorty. Good night, tiny. Tom, 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 tom. There. If I say so myself, I do set out a very appetizing picnic. Now all I got to do is wait for the food to arrive. Well, look at here, a picnic. I'm just gonna grab me 
a little snack before I turn in. That's funny. I had the same idea. Okay, Ant. You got any last words? Yep, I got one. Zimbala, Zimbala. Hey, what kind of word was that? My little boy is in trouble and I will hearken to his call. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? With a mouth as small as mine, I got to pick on somebody his size or I'll stop. Gee, thanks, Tiny. It's sure swell to have a large brother to protect me. Zimbala, Zimbala. You mean him too? Naturally. He's president of our local chapter. Thank you, Prez. Someday I got to remember to grease his grapevine. Sure nice of you to see me safely home, Tiny. Think nothing of it, little buddy. We're large brothers, ain't we? I'm counting on you to break up a beautiful friendship. Do your stuff, Mouse. A mouse. <laughs> Shoot. I'm allergic to me. Are you hurt, little buddy? No, Tiny. I'm just fine. That's good. Nobody asks me if I'm hurt. Are you hurt? Yeah, yeah. I'm hurt. Good. This is such a good fit, it's practically a convulsion. Here they come. Are you comfy, little buddy? I sure am, Tiny. Who that? I'll take over now. He ain't a member of our like. Hey, you! Just the gang gang man. Thank you, brother member. If I had as many friends as that ant, I'd run for governor. Well, I guess we got rid of that pesky old ant here. But keep on the lookout. You never know. Zimmer Zumala! I got you, you chubby little morsel. Fasten your seatbelt. We're taking off. When we reach 10,000 feet, we'll have lunch. <laughs> ah, at last. Peace. I'll pull this plug, and we can also have quiet. You naughty ant! You turned off the fan! In that case, I better bail out. It's a good thing us ants carry parachutes. I'll be back as soon as I get this plugged in. Better hurry. Ground Zero coming up. <laughs> if I can get it in, I better land in that soft water lake. Well, I got it in. Dum de 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 dum. Dum de dum de dum. Mother used to say, always work on an elephant's vanity. It's their weak spot. Here he comes. I better duck out of sight. Do you have a weight problem? Weigh yourself free. Plus free fortune car. Wait here, shorty. I better not wait both of us together. Hey, wait, Tiny. It might be a booby trap. You're right, little pal. I better check it out. Free fortune. You should have stayed in bed. Now it tells us. You saved my life, little buddy. I think nothing of it, Tiny. Well, another beautiful day. I wonder if my loyal large brothers are on the ball to protect me. I'll test them out. Zimbala, Zimbala. You cold? Hey, don't tell me you joined the brothers of the forest lodge. That's absolutely correct. You finally convinced me about brotherly love. I don't believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Nobody loves ants better than I do.
Come morning. Sort of makes a fella glad to be alive. And now for the local weather report. A very heavy snowstorm is expected to hit the area this morning. Residents are advised to stay indoors. Oh, that's a big snow job if I ever heard one. Who's he trying to kid? I'll take a look for myself. Aha, uh -huh. just as I thought. It's a beautiful day. As I was saying, it's a beautiful day for polar bear. But for an anteater like me, I got big trouble. Wow, that was a short summer. I better lay in some food for the winter. Boy, am I hungry. If I can find an ant in this deep freeze, it'll be a miracle. Aha, an ant hill. All I gotta do is give a little inhale, and it's lunch time. Have you ever had a banana up your nose? Believe me, it doesn't do a thing for your profile. Aha, there he is. Uh oh here comes trouble. I better drop this banana and split. It's no use, Ant. Your time has come. It's only fair to warn you, pal. I'll fight to the finish. It's all over, Ant. Don't fight it. Okay, put up your dukes. I'm ready for you. For a little guy, he packs a pretty good punch. Aha! These tennis rackets should do the job. Uh-oh, here he comes again. I'll just wait, and when he comes out, I'll grab him. Hey, pal. Are you looking for me? Yeah, and this time you can't escape. That old blue sure is a persistent cuss. Boy, I'm telling you, it's tough being an anteater. Everybody takes advantage of you. You see what I mean? An uninvited house guest. Hey, you, stupid. Wake up. This place isn't big enough for the two of us. <coughs> so, I'll be leaving immediately. Here comes my breakfast. Oh, no. How do you like that? I didn't even get a scratch. I don't give up easy, you know. Oh, no. It's him again. And he's gaining on me. I'd better get rid of this excess weight. I'm about to put him on ice for good. Know you're behind that sign, you little sneak. Oh, 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 my, I'm, I'm, I'm freaky, freaky. Oh, 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 boy, am I, am I, am I, I'm co co uh, 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 oh, 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 uh, uh, I'm, 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 I, 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 just, 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 just gotta, got, 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 gotta get, 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 Da 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 da
got me. Hey, there's something I could sure use. Vitamins for strength. Directions. Take one each day for health and vitality. I wonder if they work for us little ants. Hmm. Can't hurt to try. If one a day will do as good as it says, ten of them should do ten times as good. You know what they say. Everything comes to him who waits. So who am I to argue? I'll wait. Hey, yeah. I know you're still in there. Better give up and save us both a lot of trouble. I know that direct approach never works, but it doesn't hurt to try. How do you like that? After all these years, it finally worked. Oh, boy. These vitamins are great. I feel like a million. You're stretching things too far, Ant. Now maybe you'll show us Ant's a little more respect. Ooh, you'll make me so mad. I'll give you such a chop. Okay, yeah. Whether you like it or not, I'm making you a member of the club. <laughs> so, it looks like I couldn't convince him. Boy, I sure like these vitamins. I don't know what it is that makes that ant so tough, but whatever it is, I had enough. I'm coming in after you. You know, this ain't no ordinary ant. You're so right. I used to think if you saw one ant, you saw another, but I never saw an ant like this. Now maybe I can have some peace. Hey, ant, if you won't come out like an ordinary ant, I'll have to use force. That's what I call a heavy hand. Aha, uh -huh. just as I thought. I know you're in there, hand. Come out, stupid horseshoe. What's that? It's a bomb. Telling you, that was a narrow escape. Uh, 
Okay, this is your last chance to be an ordinary ant. Yeah, I know. In the meantime, I'm hungry. Go get me some lunch. You mean me get your lunch? What do you think I am, your waiter? Well, in that case, may I take your order, sir? This is humiliating. That's what it is. I never thought it would happen to me, an odd bot bringing lunch to an ant. Do you? Hmm. Hmm. A very fine lunch. Oh, hey, Aardvark, I might be hungry again right after I take a little nap. So stick around. Uh-oh, I lost all my muscles. The vitamins must have worn off. I better go get some more. Aha, uh -huh. so that's how we got so strong. With vitamins. You see, eh? You're up against an Aardvark's superior intellect. I know you got your vitamins down there. I knew it all the time. Without your muscles, you're a coward. <laughs> oh, I saw you in. I saw you hide in that truck. You see, you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble if you gave yourself up like an ordinary ant. This time, there's no way out. I got you trapped. Oh, I wouldn't count on that. Who? Oh, who? Who? Couldn't we talk this over, ant? Who? Oh, who? Oh, 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 oh. Well, what do you know? Lunch. Mmm, finger licking good. Dumpty 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 dum. Wow, that looks tempting. But us termites gotta be careful. Those calories add up, you know. If I don't find an ant soon, I'll starve to death. Uh-oh, here comes that nasty old anteater. I'm sure glad he doesn't like termites. Out of my way, you rotten termite. You're blocking the road. <laughs> makes me so mad. Good morning, baloney. A baloney out for a walk? And I'm saying good morning to a baloney? Aha, uh -huh. I thought so. An ant! Hey, that's my lunch. And you're my dinner. <coughs> Hello, cousin. Got no time to talk now. That ant eaters after me. I'll see you later. Come on, Ant. It's later than you think. And I think I'm hungry. Don't panic, Ant. Help is on the way. I shouldn't be eating between meals, but we insects have to help each other in an emergency. <laughs> It's things like this sometimes give me a headache. Thanks a lot. Glad I was able to help. Come on, follow me. Hey, where are you taking me? To my pad, cousin Ant. This is it. Like, wow, what a place. All right, Ant, I see you. He's after me again. Come on, Ant, be my guest. Nice of you, Term. That's OK. It ain't going to do you no good to hurt. <laughs> Better come out, Ant, or I'll come in after you. Don't laugh. With a nose like this, it's possible. Gee, thanks again. Don't mention it. In a situation like this, who do I call? A doctor or a plumber? What's all the commotion about? Oh, that's just my kinfolk visiting me. I hope they leave soon. They're eating me out of house and home. Hundreds of rotten termites, and all I need is one delicious ant. Uh-oh, I better leave. That ant eater's back. So long. Oh, no, you don't, ant. <laughs> Wow. 
Well, looks like I'll have to go off my diet again. I got your corner there. Better give up. You're not a termite, and you can't eat your way out of this one. Why do I have so much trouble? I'm bigger than a termite. Boy, I'm getting fat like an aardvark. You rotten termite, take my advice and stay out of my way. I'm gonna let you have it right where it hurts the most. Rotten termite. You know, I think I'm getting another headache. Thanks a lot, Kenfolk. Gee, you have a nice family. Yeah, but they sure eat a lot. If there's one thing I hate, it's smart aleck termites. I'll hide in this closet and wait for that ant to show up. Stupid termites. If they think they can fool me again, they got another thing coming. Just as I thought, it's locked. I'll break it down. You know, I just happened to think of something, but I forgot what it was. Well, better be on my way. Thanks again, Term. Uh-huh. I just remembered. Lunch. Hey, yeah. Uh-oh. It's him again. That's a giant leap for an ant, but one small step for an oddball. Or was it one small step for an ant, but a giant leap for an oddball? Hmm. Boy, am I stuffed. I hope that ant got away. Now, where did he go? Hey, Ann, I'd like a word with you. You know, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Hey, Ann! Now, how can I find a needle without a haystack? Aha, I saw him. OK, you Ann, time for lunch. You won't believe this, but my name is Ardvark, and I was looking for an ant. Believe me, I was telling you the truth. You see, there was this ant. We were going to have lunch together. I hope you won't make a hasty decision. Couldn't we make a deal? I guarantee it will make you feel better in the morning. Believe me. Thanks again, Term. You and your kinfolk must come over and have lunch with me sometime. Do you mind if I take a rain check, cousin? I gotta get back on my diet. is what I call a beautiful morning. I think I'll take a nice little jog around the neighborhood. That end don't know it, but I'm inviting him for breakfast. Hey, Ed, wait a minute. I want to wait with you. The wait is stop. Slow down, you little wretch. You're running all your fat off. I better have breakfast now before he loses too much weight. They may be small, but they're spicy. Boy, I sure got the air knocked out of me that time. You're not just a whistling tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> and that's enough out of you, dog. If you don't like the caste system around here, take a walk. Breakfast time. Everybody hungry? Here's a lump of sugar to sweeten your day. <laughs> a doggy bone for you. Ooh, careful. Mustn't bite the hand that's feeding you. And a bowl of hot porridge for you, honey. Eat everything up so you'll get strong and well. <coughs> porridge. Food. Who does she think I am? Goldilocks. And he does only eat ass. 
Entad sana eh. Mind your own business, dog. As for you, Wang, I got news for you. Your troubles are over. You wouldn't need a man with a broken leg, would you? Don't worry. The castle just had rough it. What on earth is going on in there? I guess my old ears are deceiving me. Boy, I got enough trouble with noises. Who needs you? So don't be a wise guy. You didn't hear me. I said don't be a wise guy. Okay, we'll take it from the top. You know something? I think he's dead. Uh -huh. I am sure I heard a noise this time. Let's have quiet in here. This is a hospital, you know. Some hospital. The hospitality around here could make a person sick. Look at I'm inventing a new kind of communication system between us. If you want to say something to me, all you do is speak through the tube. There's only one thing I gotta say to you. You're a stupid long-nosed... I hated to cut him off in the middle of an insult, but I couldn't resist his aroma. Lunchtime, everybody. Here's your sugar, you sweet, darling little... Oh, he's gone. Wherever did he go? Oh, oh no, you didn't. You bad old odd bark. It hurt me worse than it hurt you. Believe me. I'm glad to see you both back on your feet again. You can go now, but be careful. You know something, Ant? You never looked healthier. In fact, I think you put on weight. Well, here we go again. Slow down, Ant. You shouldn't run all your fat off again. <laughs> You know, Ant, you're a jinx. And a jinx is like an insult. You have to swallow it. Not again. Yes, again. And you won't get away from me this time. And as for you, you broken down Rin Tin Tin, don't interfere in my business. Oops, excuse me, sir. It's a mistake. I thought you were somebody else. Don't go away, Ant. Somehow I've got the feeling I'll be back. <laughs> 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 